this is Kerry Decker, and welcome to part two of unboxing my brand new iMac. And uh, we're going to pick it up now. It's about uh, a week or so, a week, ten days later, and uh, we've got the uh, Mac up and running. In fact, right now it's in the sleep mode, so shh. You can set up all these things just like on a PC. In fact, one uh, is amazing, as, as you may have seen a little bit, and, and from other videos, that when you start this thing up, it goes. It has a beautiful welcome screen and everything, which is just great. So anyway, uh, I've uh, had a chance to use this iMac now for... Um, like I say, about the past week, 10 days. Uh, I've owned other Macs uh, before this. I had the G4, you know, the, the, the look like a basketball, the white basketball. And then I had some of the original uh, DV uh, iMacs from uh, a few years ago. So I'm not totally uh, new to this. But on the other hand, I'm not expert like some of you out there. But anyway, um, it's, it's just great because, again, there's only a screen, a keyboard, and a mouse, and that's it. There's no tall box or anything else. I always think of the iMac as uh, a flat screen having a laptop computer on the back. That's uh, what's so cool about this. And, yes, I still have the, uh, the plastic on the screen yet. I haven't uh, <laughs> decided to take it off and everything. So it's not, uh, not distracting, and I'll, I'll take it off one of these days. But anyway, I just like to leave it as pristine as I, as I possibly can. Now, all you do, of course, I, I set up uh, that this thing goes to sleep. I go like 15 minutes um, on the screen and about a half hour on my hard drive. I figure if I'm going that long, I'm, I'm off doing something. So anyway, um, I'm going to wake it up here, and I'm going to press the space bar. That usually will do it. And there it is. And, um, oh yeah, I was reading about uh, Final Cut Pro here, so um, let me... I'm finished with that. So, anyway, I'm going to show you some of the things on the screen here in just a moment. Uh, there's some good things. There's a couple bad things I discovered also uh, about the iMac. And um, uh, let me see here. I guess I should, uh, well, let me mention this first. All right, first of all, the thing about uh, the, the keyboard uh, has two USB ports uh, on the side of it. I'll show you in just a second. And it makes uh, things like the, you know, your little thumb drive and everything very convenient to just uh, simply plug in. Okay, all we have to do, this is a beautiful keyboard by the way, this little thin aluminum keyboard. And I'm just, uh, the, the USB port is right underneath there. There it is. And we just plug in my thumb drive and it comes alive, starts to flash, and I'm ready to go. Another thing which is great about this keyboard is, is that it's totally silent. There is no clicking and all that click, clack, 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 like you get on uh, PCs and other things. This keyboard is completely silent. And as you can see here, there it is. It pops up, uh, my little USB disc, and it shows that it's uh, ready to go. Make sure that uh, you always click on eject when it comes time to pull it out. So I'm going to click on the disc, just like that. And then I'm coming up here to the finder in the uh, upper left-hand corner here. And we're going to find the part, we're going to go down here where it says eject USB disk. Okay, here we go. Eject USB disk. Click on it, and the disk will disappear from the screen. Okay, now, one of the cons that I came across is uh, how they've arranged things on the back and what they've done. There are a number of plugs which uh, go in, which allows you to do inputs and outputs. And uh, generally, that's great and everything, but uh, I did find uh, one thing which I didn't like, and one thing which I did. Okay, let's take a look at the back of the uh, screen right here, and uh, let's take a look. We've got uh, two uh, sockets here for earphones and speakers, all right? We have three additional USB ports. Now, remember, we had two of them up on the keyboard. We have three more on the back, which is a great thing, okay? And then the FireWire ports. Uh, that's something which is very important. They have a 400 and the 800 FireWire on the back. This is where I had a problem. I wish they had one more additional FireWire 400 because I've got uh, my digital video camera and then I have a hard drive which plugs in through FireWire also, but uh, the ports are different. The, uh, the 800 has a different configuration. But anyway, I was able to come up with an adapter and this adapter uh, saved my life. It's a uh, six pin to nine pin, and it's a male and female uh, adapter, which allowed me to take the FireWire 800 
and bring it down to like a 400 speed. Okay, and here's the adapter going from my Firewire hard drive into this adapter that uh, is the 800 Firewire on the other side. It's by Sonnet. All right, and then all I have to do is plug that in the back, and now I have my second 400 speed uh, Firewire, and uh, now my problem is solved. Uh, Apple sells some of these, although I got this one from the nerds. <laughs> anyway, all right, and then uh, here is my uh, cable modem, my Ethernet through here, and then lastly, you even have an output to go to uh, like a high definition television, which is really great. Also, of course, there is a slot in the side of the uh, screen for inserting DVDs and CDs. Full size only because there's no tray. It just goes into the side. Um, a couple things that I found. Uh, I like the fact that I can plug my mouse into the side of the keyboard. But, however, I found the cord to be too short. Now, that's because of my setup here and everything like that. If you just have a, if your keyboard with a mouse right next to it. But I've got kind of a multi-level tray and everything else, so it doesn't work. So, I had to pick up a, uh, actually, this is a 60-inch USB uh cable extension and uh, it's the small white type and everything so it really matches my system and it's a good thing to have uh, in in the long run and uh, this one is by Greenbrier International out of Chesapeake Virginia and uh, that has really helped me now the thing I'm going to show you here we're going to go over the programs and everything the only thing I'm going to say and I read about this is the fact that uh, some people have problems with uh, iMovie 08 uh, not maybe technically or anything like that, but uh, as you know, iMovie has grown over the years from version 1, and it's gotten richer in features and plugins and everything else. So I was really looking forward to iMovie 08. That's until I tried it. To me, it only has one feature which is worthwhile, and it's a direct uh, upload to YouTube, which is great. Uh, it sizes it correctly, even gives like a high definition uh, image, and uh, it's it's great. You fill in all the information on uh, on the uh, Mac in kind of a Mac style uh, interface and everything, and you click the button and off it goes. That's a great feature. But when it comes to editing, what they did was they cleared the deck. Everything from uh, iMovie 6 and below will not work on iMovie 08, and they've also locked out. Uh, any type of plugins or anything else, so you have to use what's there. It's a little different system than before, and it's something that uh, I'm not really too thrilled with. But uh, they do allow you to uh, upload, uh, or download, I should say, uh, iMovie 6, which is the last one which had all the rich uh, features and allowed you to download. And, of course, one of my favorite downloads was the uh, Slick Transitions by G3. I think this thing is really great. Well, okay, I jib-jab so much and everything that apparently I can't even get it on uh, two parts. So let's conclude part two of unboxing the iMac, and we're going to have to do a part three along with it. So anyway, so uh, this is Kerry Decker. Thank you for your time this time. Until next time, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks.